Aggression talk number four. Yeah, there's number four. How am I already losing track? So I've had a lot on my mind this week. Before we get started, I want to know, do you guys like the the raw? For those of you that do actually watch these all the way through, there's a few of you. Um, do you guys actually like the raw just like after workout talk or just, you know, whenever I'm really in that flow state? Or do you like the more like sat down at my desk with the microphone kind of professional look? Um, let me know which one y'all like more. I feel like this, there's a little bit more of a connection, but maybe when I'm sat down at my desk, I sound a little bit more prepared. Um, but I just finished doing, you know, cardio abs, my recovery day and a big theme always, but specifically the past few months has just been in the subject of discipline, really just doing what is required, no matter how I feel. Like my responsibility does not change no matter how I feel. And taking my frame of mind and putting myself in the future instead of in the present. And I, I know I talked about this a little bit last week, but really once you hone that in, it benefits you in every single area of your life. Every time there's something you don't wanna do, but you know it will be beneficial. You just have to think about yourself in the future. You're like, I'm gonna derive so much benefit for this, or as soon as this is done, it's gonna be so much weight off my shoulders, or I'm gonna feel so much better after I accomplish this task, or after I you know, do this thing that I promised myself I would do. And if you can just transmute your thinking from the moment what you feel, and be like, fuck whatever I'm feeling right now, I know this will benefit me later on, that's when you'll really, really start to build momentum and make progress and just stretch the rubber band. The more you stretch it, the easier it gets to keep rolling. Once you've got that momentum, the easier it, get, the easier it gets to keep rolling. Because if you have to just, you know, an object in motion stays in motion. If you have to just keep trying to start again and keep trying to start again and keep trying to start again, that's why no one stays consistent. And that's what makes it extremely easy to fail over and over again. Because when you keep having to start up and then and then you break the consistency and then a couple of weeks go by and then you decide you want to start up again and then you break the consistency. That's where the struggle comes. If you can build it into habit, it's going to change your life. Anything that you're doing, anything that you want to accomplish, you have to build the disciplines that you know will get you there into habits and then you almost do them without thinking. Like my morning routine, it used to be super difficult. I would wake up and I genuinely had to sit there and think about what I was going to do. Even though I had it written down the night before, I had to wake up and be like, and like make myself do it. Now it's almost habit and it, it doesn't even feel like difficult in the slightest. The cold shower still sucks before, you know, and and as soon as, soon as I wake, it's still hard to wake up at 4.45 um, most mornings. Some mornings I just shoot out of bed, but that's rare. But it's, it's just habit, like it's just a responsibility and I don't even question, am I gonna wake up? I just do it, like it doesn't matter what I feel like, I just do it. And it's taken me some time to get there, you know, over the past like two years, but now that I'm there, it's so much easier to stay consistent. The thing is though, if you become complacent and you break the consistency, you're right back in the hole. But as long as you can always bring yourself back to that point, as long as you never just give up because it's too hard, as long as you always are just like, you know, I missed on my macros yesterday, I missed on my diet, or I didn't get the tasks done that I wanted to do, I'm just gonna get them back tomorrow, even better tomorrow. Instead of being like, man, I missed today, so what's the point in doing it tomorrow? I'll wait till next week. That's where everyone goes goes wrong and, and, and falls off the path, and, and it makes it really hard to steer back onto that path. And, um, yeah, so that's just been really, really guiding me throughout this week. And I wanted to share that with you guys. But also the fact that limiting beliefs will diminish everything that you could have and should have accomplished. 
the more that you accomplish, the more you will believe that you can accomplish. You have to start with small micro wins because if you're in such a low state, such a low vibration, such a low frequency that everything you do, you before you even start, you go into it with the mindset that this probably isn't gonna work out. I'm probably not gonna be able to complete this. You're probably damn right it's not gonna happen because going into anything with that mentality, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It's going to it's going to reproduce in your life. Whatever your whatever your main theme in your head is of yourself, of your life, that is going to reproduce in your everyday life. But the beautiful thing is, one of the only things in this life that we have full control over is your state of is is our state of mind. So if you learn to manipulate your state of mind, and it is, it is hard. It's it, it's hard at first, but the more you do it, just like anything, the more reps you put in, the better you get at it, and eventually it'll start automatically. You start automatically thinking positive. You start automatically completing the task without even sitting there and debating if you should. Like I was talking about earlier, I don't even debate if I'm gonna wake up when my alarm goes off anymore. I don't sit there in the bed like I used to and be like, God, is it worth it today? Is it, you know, that doesn't mean that it's not still hard, but I, it's not a debate anymore. And once you develop even the most difficult, strenuous things into that mentality and you just take action, you don't even debate if you're gonna do them anymore because the gym will become like that. Taking care of your health, tracking your macros, going to work, putting in the best of your ability, everything will become like that with enough reps. Once it becomes habit and that switch goes off and you start to control and train the way that your mind thinks and that your mind processes things, and you're like, you know what? Right now I don't wanna go to the gym, but I'm gonna tell myself in my head that I'm about to have the best workout ever. And you might think that's silly, but try it. Just be like, no, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna have the best fucking workout ever. I don't wanna do another rep. I, I can't do another rep. I can do another rep. I will do another rep. I will do another rep. Tell yourself that you will, that there is no other option. And you will see that you have been limiting yourself so much you are capable of so much more so much more every time that i have taken out the option of doing anything other than what i set my mind to i've accomplished way more way more this is a small minuscule example but just just not even 20 minutes ago i was doing um decline oblique sit up so i was turning in and those like 12 reps, I'll like, that's basically like failure on like my third or fourth set. But I did, you know, last one, I could barely make it up. I tried it again, I couldn't do it. And it was in my head, I was like, oh, I was done. But then I was like, no, I will get another rep. I will get another rep. I, I did not have the strength in me to get another rep that I felt like. Uh, and, 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 you know, I work out a lot and I do this a lot. But I was like, I will get another rep. I made myself get another, I actually got two more reps before I failed. And I've only been training abs. This is this is a little embarrassing, but you know, I've been working out for five years. I've only been training abs for the past like month and a half. Um, but yeah, hopefully my abs will start coming in real crazy. But that aside, you can do that with so many scenarios in your life. If you manipulate your mind, you will start to manipulate the outcome that you that you realize you will start to manipulate the outcome that actually happens. I'm not saying that you have some magical power to control a situation, but 99.9% .9 of the time, an outcome is 100% variable on your display of effort based on the mindset that you have. And you have to want it. You have to wake up every day with relentless intention towards Achieving what you set out to do towards achieving your goals towards Oh no
I saved it. As I was saying, you have to have that relentless intention towards achieving your goals. If you don't, it's probably not gonna happen. But the one thing is, it is hard to be consistent. It is hard to be consistent and not succeed. You can do all of the detrimental, you can, you can, you can take part in all of the detrimental activities, have a terrible mindset, all these things, but if you are consistent, it is going to be very hard for you to fail. You know why? Because being consistent overlaps all of those things. If you are consistently going to the gym, that is going to develop a positive mindset. If you're consistently going to the gym, eventually, that is gonna become so important to you that it's going to make you change your diet, even if you have a shitty diet. So the consistency is the one thing that will overlap and it will overturn outcomes along with your mindset. As soon as your mindset switches towards, I can do this, I will do this, nothing is gonna stop me from doing this. Oh my gosh, the things that you can accomplish are gonna be wild. I believe in you. I believe in you. If you don't have anyone that believes in you, I believe in you because every single person that is watching this video is capable of something insane. Whatever's popping into your brain right now that you've been thinking about doing or that you've been wanting to do, but either it's so much work that you just don't want to put in the effort or you just believe that you won't be successful, do it. Do it. I promise you, if you wake up every day with relentless intention towards it, if you want it bad enough, if you want it bad enough and you work so hard that it makes failure impossible, that's exactly what's going to happen. Failure will be impossible. Sure, you're going to fail in the micro along the way, but if you can stay consistent, work as hard as you can, and when you fail, you get right back on track and you get right back after it, you will succeed. I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking tee it. It will happen. Change your mindset. Make yourself develop the habits that will grow you into the person that you were destined to be, the highest version of yourself. Make the change and you will see your life change rapidly in front of you. It'll be beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. That was just, you know, I have these random thoughts while while I'm driving or while I'm doing cardio, and that was kind of what I was thinking about. I know sometimes they're a little all over the place. I don't make notes for these. I probably should, but you know, I just kind of sit down and, and, and speak from my heart. And yeah, my mission is just to help as many young men as I can, you know, not even just like all like young men, like any men that I can, because you know, I've been down, down bad many times and lost with no, nowhere to go, no path and no direction. And if I can be, be the man that inspires an, another to, to take action or inspires another and shows that like, you're not alone, we're, we're all in this together, man, that would just make me the, the happiest, the, hap the happiest guy on earth. And that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. So thank you for watching, subscribe and check out my other videos. If you haven't connect with me on Instagram, for daily motivation. It's good. I promise. Hit the um, the link in my bio and stay tuned for the leg day coming this week. Peace.